I know I'm about 60 years old, and I nearly have 5,000 devotion points, so I thought to myself, let's use it. I can't use it in the places where it has an orthodox um, majority, but I'm only going to use it to prepare the ground. Okay, let's piss all these points away. I don't care if I get highly suspicious again. And also, uh, another thing I would like to say, even though I didn't have time to say it on the previous episode, a question I recently asked myself is, um, how would I describe myself trait-wise, just like uh, Sarah King's traits, like how would I describe myself? Uh, I would describe myself as many, if we're talking about real life me. I'm uh, paranoid, definitely. Uh, I can be a humble, humble, downer person. Uh, patient. What else? What kind of person am I? Oh yeah, um, lustful, I think I would add that because uh, the things I can get into that I will not address it here. <laughs> and I'm sure there's probably a few more I could come up with. Alright, that's enough. I'll think of something else unless I just look it up. Of course I'm suspicious because I'm doing all of these things. In due time, the beautiful seeds will blossom. Yada yada, that's for all the counties. Right, the traits. How would I also describe myself? Oh yeah, I could be, uh, in real life, if we're talking real life, me, I'm, I'm, I can be a bit brave. Uh, and, um... I guess kind. Um, I would describe myself that too in real life when I'm talking to friends. Oh, well, I'm screwed. I mean, I basically just sacrificed myself in order for the greater good to occur. I'm gonna go back to prison. <laughs> uh, Although, I wouldn't be cynical in real life. Um, I think I'm a bit zealous, uh, especially what I'm trying to be these days. <laughs> oh, blast. You know, this is a period of persecution. Despite that, we have many members, and some still joining. This one. Oh, it's a different issue over there. I'm gonna go back to prison. Trying to think about our traits. Oh, now I remember what else I would describe myself. Gluttonous. Yeah, I'm a bit of a glutton because I'm a fat ass. <laughs> Especially those people who know me personally knows for the fact that that. And also slothful, because I'm lazy at most things due to my. Physical limitations on a couple of things. Again with the blackmailing. Crap, they burned him with the stake. I fought many wars under that flag, but now 
facing a time of persecution and our influence is going down a bit because they're trying to kill us off. The more you kill, the more we get newer members. <laughs> so you can't get rid of us. I think that's pretty much it of how I would describe myself and all these traits. Oh, amateur spot. Yeah, good job. Wait a minute, what? What was that nickname? That just popped up? Oh, of Yugoslavia. I thought it was a nickname, but... She's a princess. Uh, I thought I saw something. Just slow fever. <coughs> Died of poor health. Oh yeah, she's the trouble doer person. Well, typically I created a shock uh right right to know, but there's no room for that but we'll do this instead. What war is this? Vladimir and Holy War for Bransk? There's a rumor about an artist in the facility that creates the most magnificent landscape paintings with features of human nature. I'm gonna need one of those. I got money. Let's have a painting. I thought I had a painting back then. Also, went to war. Where's he from? There she goes. Hm. I don't know why uh, we're getting involved in that conflict up there. I got a personal unveiling of a painting I commissioned for. The artist truly did a remarkable job with it. But I... F but it feels like, uh... Wait. Ah, yes, the orthodox symbols. To the best of my skills, even though I'm blind, to give the painting a touch of orthodox symbol. Oh, this is gonna be a botch. Matter of fact, I, I don't even know what a painting looks like. I don't know what anything looks like. It's absurd. There goes another Stratagos. Last. When I showed off my latest addition to my art collection, one particular person spent a long time studying the painting. It turns out that faithful Biliana, whom whom later shook my hand and discreetly left a holy cross in my palm. If I know what a cross looks like, then maybe... <laughs> then just maybe. But at least now... Here's my painting, I guess. This remarkable painting almost comes to life and brings you outdoor in nature while you're still observing it from under a roof. A truly enchanting piece of art. I charge secret cultist, that's what he thinks of me, while I think that he's blinded me and slandered. You know what this calls for? Maybe. Just maybe we'll think about it. Thinking about it. Is there people out there that's willing to assassinate? Ah, uh, there could be a chance. 
I mean, nobody ever thought that anyone would kill the uh, Basilius of the Byzantine Empire. But I'll give that a shot. Give them money. This idea is not. It's probably not going to work. I don't think there's enough people to. Um, actually, there might be enough. I still have my spy master in Constantinople. He's going to just find out. Oh yeah, huh. I need to. Uh. Yeah. You are taking money out of my damn pocket. Alright. If I were to get rid of them now... The next area could be Orthodox. You are gonna bankrupt me. Yes, or whatever. Okay, that's the last time I'm giving you that amount of money. Influence is still growing. Let's we'll abandon our efforts for it for now. I'll be sure to remember the names of those great counties. Uh, most of them are Greek, somewhere around there. I know you've been you've been branded apostate, but please explain the devotion, the importance of devotion. It's just we're one for all, all for one. It's just we're going through some hard times right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it, hold it up. Byzantine revolt, independence war. Revolts. Oh, that's where she's from. In the islands. Issue. Just maybe. Although one of the guys left the plot. No one else is willing. gonna get oh whoa 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 who's there these guys were besieging my uh look we Yugoslavs want n nothing to do with with what you're doing much loved much beloved old man named Marco Marco. Oh.
He's a renowned physician, a quirk, and a celebrant. Hey, a totally nice person. Yeah. How much money do I make per month? A lot. <laughs> Sacred Orthodox Communities And another man's gone But don't worry We're still expanding Oh, if only uh The world never rests, neither shall I. I don't want no rest. If we get rid of this emperor and install a uh, an orthodox emperor, then maybe there's a chance that orthodoxy can make a bigger comeback. Hmm. There's a team revolt army and. Despite those losses, we're just getting more and more. Oh, what is this now? Byzantine Old Slavic Revolt. Where? Oh, over there. I find it a bit intimidating just to see that many troops walking around there. See this in a different color. What it actually looks like instead of seeing purple all the time. Plan's working. Uh, as I cut the throat of the ram, it suddenly stopped struggling and looked me straight in the eyes. Even as its blood filled the grooves on the altar, I knew that Radagast was with me, so I lose the trait of stress. Do I have to point out that I'm blind? God damn it. You know what? Drop it. Don't assassinate him. As much as I want to, but... Can't do it this way. Sorry about that. Well, looks like I'm gonna get in trouble again. But you know what? We're going back to... Oh, I have to wait another year. Last. Sacred Orthodox communities are being, uh... Oh. Damn it, man! This is just to prevent revolts. And as you can see, there's snow because it's winter right now. It's another cool thing about this terrain view. I know it's not going to make a difference, but you know what? What if I assassinate these guys? Or invoke sympathy. Giving them one chance to walk away. <sighs> Their scars, both physical and emotional, will never fade. 
well, you're the one that's causing all the trauma, but don't you ever fail for them. And I shouldn't have said that. Claimed that the family's a bunch of filthy heathens, as he said himself, only had themselves to blame. Then he turned to a woman as other side and proceeded to ignore her for the rest of the night. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, I was wondering, it's like, what's with the progress of the war? Are we winning or losing? She don't need my help. Try this again. I don't think it'll be as much as there were. Well, once he turns 16, I'll start spying on him. When's his birthday? September. There's nothing we could do about the buildings except tear them down and use the salvageable material for them to build new houses with better fortifications. This is how I picture it. With Chief Zoran's ideas and the material managed salvage, new buildings would really outshine the old ones. And gained one stewardship. Even though it's kind of low, but still. diviners out there. But it's such a thrill. Happy birthday, you son of a beeswax. Well, I'll try to... <laughs> I'll try to come up with a vicious rumor, then people will hate him, and maybe it'll increase my chance to... to assassinate him. Maybe things will change from there.
bit of serious huh? in these cases of um, while trying to expand and not get persecuted and Constantinople's got the three of them. They just won't learn do they? Dishonorable because the plot was revealed to kill him. Now the plot power is lowered. I'm surprised nobody has arrested me yet or put me at the stake. I guess I'll die of old age then. Maybe it'll be worth it to some people. How many devotion points? Are What's their counties? I have not prepared the ground for yet. The ones that I couldn't afford. Oh, look for the symbol. Secret Orthodox. Ah, here it is. Oh, still trying to. Oh, that's a revolt area. Maybe we'll continue to expand downwards, like down there. Forget about the upper, but um, I don't know if that idea is going to work. No, because everyone's Slavic. Sage. Oh my God! They're in my backyard. They're in Belgrade. Get all the troops. Raising everybody except in Belgrade. strong Byzantine army moving our way. I doubt that they're going to attach with us. If they sack Belgrade, they're going to take some of my artifacts. My painting! If I don't even know what it looks like. But most importantly, they got 
I have the axes, my golden sword, the scepter, the hero's crown, the finger, the nail, the everything. Escape, this is going to be a squash match. And we're about to join in. <laughs> that is extremely one sided. and Byzantines and here's theirs. <laughs> they just basically just destroyed half of their army. <laughs> don't let them get away. the damn view to get them. And stay out. <laughs> it was a white piece, so she wasn't in prison, but she lost an eye for that. Say, a, uh, you want to become a, a future Orthodox Christian? Hmm? <laughs> After all we've been through? <laughs> they had a profitable business and uh, it was burnt to the ground. Talk about the business the family lost and how valuable it was to the community. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you wanna... Mm. Yes, no. Oh yeah, I tried to win better, but... It didn't work. Your post. You offer me that huge amount of money? How much money do you have? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Perhaps you aren't uh, so bad after all. Maybe. We could use that amount of money. It's called in a favor. Uh, for what? Did you start a vote? No? Whatever it is. <laughs> you asked me a favor and I guess I granted it to you. Are you revoking all? So what do we do? Don't revoke my title. <laughs> oh. He's finally dead.
Uh, Despot Slobodan the second feast with the gods at age 65. He died from complications of being blinded. Never got over it. <laughs> Known to be kind, few had to, had a bad word to say about him. A godly man. Slobodan is with Triglav now. So, Despot Ilya. Apparently lost an eye and uh, it's an interesting looking eye patch. Despot Ilya. Seeing the agents of Chernobog around every corner, heretics and heathens alike should beware his rule. Long live Des Despot Ilya. And now Dalmatia has been given to my retarded half rudder. Hmm. Okay, we've got to pause for this. So I've got to fix some few things here. Uh, point these people. with that. Yeah, I think that's the way it's going to be. Oh, I can't join the society. That's because I'm a member of the Hermitech Society. I'm with it for life. No matter. Well, what I can do is spend some time writing a Ethereum paper. Do some research and write a paper on topic. Three out of five peers and I'll get myself a reward. I face a daunting task of researching and writing an entire Ethereum paper. To be reviewed by my peers, to have it be accepted by the order, it would be a great boon to me. If the quality is found to be lacking. It might be a big blow to my prestige, so... Mm. Oh, I got money to piss away. No expense. So, our new despot Ilya with a cool eye patch. So. Who shall be my apprentice? Somebody with a lot of knowledge, so I guess I'm on the map. Advisor, sure. Just like the previous. And buy a favor. It's a lot of money. Still keeping it for the father's sake. So I can't join the old Christian society, but I hope they'll do well. Despite the fact that the persecutions are going to continue and the expanding of it. Oh yeah, it's that person where my father, Dino Slobodan, was a rival to and tried to do everything to discredit her, but life's different. That's what you use my favor. That's what you use the favor for. Trying to turn him Greek. Gee, I wonder. Aha. I don't know. Apparently, I was a good friend of my father. <laughs> I always imagined I would be the first of us to go. But now I'm the one morning of the departure of my dear friend. Never again I will hear Slobodan's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I lost an essential part of myself. I feel so powerless. <laughs> Slobodan wouldn't want me to cry. Let's drink in his honor. Let's get drunk. I have probably already <coughs> had 
one drink too many when I'm joined at the table by an equally intoxicated man. It takes me a few minutes to realize it surely must be Chief Zoran, another old friend of Slobodan's. We spent quite some time reminiscing about our old comrade. Isn't he one of the originals? Like the original members of that old Christian society? You know, class of 1215, you know, the originals? Right, now I have my apprentice. Let's go shopping. My apprentice, Shaman Aldemir. He's gonna help me gather some ingredients. Well, I have a huge amount of money, so let's find some useful materials in the marketplace. In the busy streets of Belgrade. The main streets of Belgrade. Which, again, I am not going to pronounce the Greek name of it. It is Belgrade in the heart of every Serb around this realm. Oh, and also I control a bit of Bosnia as well. Because that's where Ilya is from. See? <laughs> you see the eye patch? It's got an eye on the eye patch. <laughs> Stalls around us are brimming with all different kinds of goods, and people are swarming around us. Shaman Aldemir and I we'll look at each other in the eyes, nodding. We know that it will be need. We will <coughs> need to be thorough in our search and excellent in our haggling if we want to make some good deals here. Our charismatic touch will bring forth the best wares to the lowest prices. While well, meanwhile, I'm going to try to predict the future. I place my hands on the sides of the bowl. The surface of the water is perfectly still, yet it only takes a few moments before the patterns begin to appear to reflection. Mere images of the world, the past, and the future. I take a deep breath to attune to myself what I'm looking for. I want to know what will happen to me as despot. just lines. Or are they? Yes. I see a forest. A fast forest. Damnation! This is clearly a bad omen. Took a bit of a hit on stewardship and learning. Gee, you know what? I'm gonna put my focus on business. <laughs> Increase the stewardship a bit. And I'm a follower of Perun as well. So I have low intrigue, so I... So I can't be the guy to uh, to do some assassinations and things like that. More money to you. I was preparing a small feast. Gee, I didn't know that. Oh well. I'm the heir to the High Chieftain of Dalmatia. Oh yes, that person. Oh no, not that. Oh yeah, this half-brother who knows nothing. He's fussy, but he's not going to get out of it. <laughs> he's not going to get any numbers because he is ill-prepared for anything of what's to come. Hold a grand debate. Send an invitation to all members of the Hermitech Society. As I expect many members of the Hermetic Society to appear for the Grand Debate, it is the 
<coughs> it is of the utmost importance that everything is to be flawless as possible. In the spirit of the preparations are well underway. My staff has seen to the lodgings and the ship is stocked up the lardis. All that is left to send out the invitations. Bring me my most trusted um, courtier or courier. I didn't read the last word. Oh, another visiting civil war, but it's against the tyranny. Even a patriarch has raised his armies against him. We're gonna go find a hermetic text. <laughs> Set out an expedition. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Despite the fact that there's a big ass war going on, meanwhile I'm doing things for science. Alright, let's speed it up. To Master Ilya. The letter mentioned three lost texts, a tome in a local um, antiquary, <coughs> a scroll hidden in a temple in Styrmark, and a tablet in the ancient library ruins of Brefin in I oh it's in Ireland. Um, f the further we venture, the distance as well as into the past, the greater secrets may uncover. Choice is mine. Let's go to Ireland. I've always wanted to visit that place. 65% <laughs> chance of a successful search or 34% chance that we'll fail at this. We're off to Ireland then. Oh yeah, we were shopping earlier in Belgrade. Hold it right there. What did I get? Silver, gold, and tin. Oh, I could brew a potion. I have the stress trait though. Oh, and um, I'm not healed from the injuries. Matter of fact, I think it would be best to do that right now. Oh god. In this state, I almost do not care about the quality of my potion. Still, while rummaging through my drawers, I can't decide which ingredients to use. The gold is fantastically shiny, I suppose. Oh boy. I'm going to be drinking some crap that would hopefully make me not feel stressed. Uh, I think a few flakes of gold feels just about right. This is going to be nasty. Oh, unpause it, you moron. <laughs> I brewed the potion just like the enciphered recipe dictated. Mere seconds after it passed my lips, a wave of pleasurable sensations rolled over me. While the peak of my bliss was short-lived, the first rust must have washed away in the dispiriting darkness that has plagued me for so long. I feel different. Lighter! Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess gold did the trick. I'm drinking a potion and it took a bit of gold along with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Ireland and I'm still doing the grand debate. I'm a multitasker for a one-eyed man with a patch like a pirate. It's time for the grand debate. Let the debate commence. What are you talking about here, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> While debating the movement of celestial bodies, planets, I have the sudden impulse that a comedic story once told me by a stable hand wouldn't undermine my would underline my points perfectly. Even if it doesn't, laughter might win me just as many allies. <laughs> oh boy. Once upon a time a servant of mine was 
shoveling horse horse dung. <laughs> uh, you know what I was about to say. There's a chance the joke doesn't land. <laughs> I <think> do. <laughs> oh, I might charm everyone's beards off. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna fail. And if those words, even uttered by a simpleton, does not illustrate my point, nothing ever will. I am unsure if anyone heard my decisive conclusion over the roars of laughter, but it mattered little. The crowd completely won over by my story. Just as funny as I am thoughtful. Well, I guess horse it is. <laughs> I drank a potion to make me feel happy. Oh no. Now I'm infected. Ah. Oh, it is finished. The paper. Explores the concept of ascension in new ways uh, by this state might be achieved, which in turn might provide a new approach to theology. Uh, now all is left to submit to my hermetic peers for review. Here you go. I've been in a good mood ever since I drank that potion, and I'm, and I'm so damn happy I made a joke out of it. Remember, three out of five peers. Okay, that's one for yes. Oh, hey, it's my apprentice that won the grand debate. Can we get to Ireland already? Okay, that's one yes, one no for the vote. Another yes. Yeah, it, it was a good event. Thank you. <laughs> now I am the debater. A, a, a notory success. All right, thank you. That's three, yes. Oh, it's my uh, diviner and apprentice. <laughs> Thank you for backing me up. There we go. That's four yes and one no. It's none of my business. Actually, I have to intervene. Oh, God damn it! I should have never done that. I was going to stay out of your business, but I changed my mind and... Things like that, and oh my goodness, look at the huge armies. <laughs> We're going to Constantinople. Yep, the Basilius really paid them off. Yeah, I see it, but I'm trying to wait for what's the outcome for this mission. published now, it's in the library. I possess a great mind. <sighs> Our expedition into foreign lands certainly encountered its fair share of difficulties. We dealt everything from unfavorable weather to, ta to lame horses. But in the end, the fraudulent guide was the nail in the coffin. When he escaped of our last gold, um, we also discovered that we were in the wrong part of Ire Ireland. God damn it! We failed. Could have been. Gee, a huge battle over there, and they were winning, and now the tables have turned on them. Oh, man, that took a big hit in the percentage. And now they're fighting at Constantinople itself. Yep, he's going down. All right, everybody in Belgrade is now converted to Old Slavic, which in turn 
I will. Oh, I forgot. I'm not an old Christian anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not Orthodox. So I stand corrected. Uh, well, I'm gonna conclude this episode where Slobodan died, and now uh, we have the Butcher. <laughs> He's um, also the member of, of the Hermetic Society, which. He has his, um, although he's good at debating, but ever since the expedition up to Ayer, it was a failure, so uh, we should have gone locally instead of going to foreign lands. There's no, you know, the literal pot of gold under the rainbow, but at least I drank the potion that had a bit of gold in it to make me feel happy and giddy. So tune in next time for the next episode. This is Lord Master once again saying farewell. <laughs>